Hi, I'm Bina Kavalam, founder of Personal Revolution Coaching. And this is your Friday Fast Five. This Fast Five is all about rocking your resume. I mean it. You all look at your resumes. I know. You're thinking, oh, Bina, I've got my resume. It's already done. I don't have to work on it anymore. Come on now, seriously, you know you do. I, in some roles, I was a manager. And I remember having to sort through resumes. And I got an inside scoop, an inside look into how the HR departments do it. They don't read every single resume. In fact, your resume will most likely not get read by the HR manager. It's usually some intern or some assistant who kind of goes through and looks for keywords in your resume. Looks to see, hey, does it look okay? And if it doesn't pass the test with the HR assistant, it doesn't get over to the HR manager and then on to the hiring folks. So here are five ways to get your resume read and put in the yes pile. If you want to be concise, be concise. It is so vitally important. You want to make sure your resume is one page. I'm going to say it again. It's got to be one page. And I know you're going to tell me, Bina, I have so much experience. You don't have to put every single experience you've ever had in your resume. You need to put the ones that are most important. The ones that fit this role and are most relevant to the role. Second, you want to make sure you use numbers and symbols. This is hugely important. Numbers and symbols, remember how I was talking about that HR assistant who's reading through all this? They're not really reading your resume. What they're doing is scanning your resume. They're scanning your resume for symbols, for dollar signs, for percentages, for millions. This, these symbols reflect results. Make sure you follow the action, results, success formula. What you wanna do is for every bullet point on your resume, you want to make sure you start off with an action verb, a power verb, something meaningful. Don't just use the same ones over and over again. You want to use those terms, but you, what you want to do is you want to communicate why that's important. Okay, so if your role is as a scientist, you want to use terms that will be reflective of that role. So you want to use terms like an analyzed, synthesized, maybe developed, get that action verb going for you. You analyzed a process and recommended improvements that saved the company 20% in labor costs. So you analyzed a process, you recommended a solution, so it shows you think, and you have a quantitative there, so that has, goes back to that number, it shows results. Number four, Proofread, I'm gonna say this again, proofread. It's so important. You've got to proofread. If you don't, what's gonna happen is that these little mistakes, you're gonna plant in the mind of that HR manager, wait, if they can't spell on something as important as their resume, they can't catch that extra spacing error on something as important and that they present to me like their resume, What's gonna happen when we're under a time crunch at work? So make sure you have your resume crystal and have multiple people review it, not just yourself. You wanna make sure you, you're more than just a job. Now in today's market, it's extremely important to show that you've got diverse interests. You're not just a one hit wonder. So show some interest. You wanna stand out. You wanna show what, you know, if you love to tie cooking and you're, you've taken classes all over the world, Talk about it. If you are a bowling wonder and you love to bowl, incorporate it. Talk about some of the things that you've done that you're proud of in the interest section of the bottom of your resume. So let's recap. 
You want to be concise. You want to use numbers and symbols throughout your resume. You want to follow the action, results, success formula. Every bullet point. You want to proofread your resume. Very important. Extremely important. I'm giving it a, yeah, you got to proofread. And finally, add some diversity to it. You're not, you're more than just your job. And make sure you reflect that in your resume. So that is your Friday Fast Five. Thanks, guys. Like this video? Then please hit like below. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter and sign up for free training at www.personalrev.com.